Yes. yes. <laughs> this is what I expected. <laughs> Not what I hoped for, but we're gonna get a lot more of this, aren't we? So I'm Swana, I'm 30 years old and I'm a French climber with Icelandic origins. I came to Iceland uh, three years ago because uh, my grandfather is Icelandic and some people told me that it was possible to climb and it was actually good to climb. This year I wanted to go back to discover some new uh, areas. No! I met Swana, who is like our happy girly girl. And a total beast at the same time. She is so strong in her mind, so determined. She's a girl of contrast. I'm an old bitch. Don't worry. I think we had a really good team, like really good vibes, like Siggy. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> so my name is Sigurdur. People usually call me Siki, the Icelandic guy on the trip. Loves climbing when it's raining and when it's windy. He is, you know, the godfather of Icelandic climbing. Woo! Super happy to show us his country and most important thing is that he always climbs with his uh, Icelandic sweater. <laughs> Action! I'm Julia and I'm a um, French climbing photographer. Julia is like exactly what you'd expect someone who's really artistic and French to be like. <laughs> I can arrive like this. <laughs> she, she, well, she calls herself, what does she call herself? The French Jimmy Chin? The Euro European female Jimmy Chin? <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> I'm not, not yet. Uh, it's been really nice to have her here because she also has a special energy and she sings uh, shitty songs all the time. I want to ride him. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> I went and spoke to them and now they're my friends. <laughs> how on a half. <laughs> Big booty bitches I want for I'm Zimon, I'm a photographer and occasional drone pilot and sometimes I climb. He was the main uh, point of our, our ironic and sarcasm attacks. We have so much fun and we also have like super different perspective in photography, which is nice. I'm Jörg Verhoeven. I'm is a, a happy kid and even though he will not like that I'm gonna say this, but a strong climber. And he's like always psyched for climbing, whatever the weather. We are learning, I think, all a lot from him. A bit like he's kind of like, okay, come on, we need to go now, we need to do this. People, we need to get going. I'm ready. No, you're not. Yeah? That's our crew and I think we had a great time. I think for my dad it was really important that we connect a bit with Iceland, with our country. That's why I wanted to come here and try to combine my sport, which is like basically my whole life now, climbing. And, uh, and my roots. I always kind of wanted to come here. You could definitely have a good adventure. First of all, the landscape, like I knew it was going to be amazing, but it, it just blew my mind how beautiful it actually is, this island. Like every time I come here, I'm always completely amazed by what I see every day. Even when the, the weather is really bad, Freezing. <laughs> <laughs> so many layers. <laughs> I got four hoodies. <laughs> it's 
like it's really beautiful everywhere. Whichever way you point your camera, there's some like really gorgeous backdrops. We started driving towards the southeast, like it's about a five hour drive. Coming to Iceland, I knew that we weren't going to have that much time and I really wanted to sample all the different types of climbing. We decided not to really focus on one thing and stay there. You can bring something, but uh, maybe tomorrow nature decided to, it's going to be something else. So <laughs> it was more like exploring a lot of different things. Yeah, we wanted to do a bit of bouldering, sport climbing, a bit of trad. Oh, it's so slippery! <laughs> so climbing in Iceland has been a bit um, challenging for me, I guess, because you always climb uh, in really cold temperatures, uh, strong wind and um, rain also. So, um, yeah, I was basically freezing uh, the whole trip here. Sadness, full of sadness. <laughs> It's okay, it washes away your tears. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you can't see the tears in the rain. Come on, try to get that right foot up. You have the right foot up as well. Yes, you're in the money. So wet. <laughs> what's, what's, <laughs> what's giving you that pressure? <laughs> I think it's part of the um, Icelandic experience to climb while it's raining. Technique, guys. Usually the routes are really short, so um, like if you're gonna try an 8A, it's gonna be really easy till you reach the crux, and it will be uh, I don't know a 7A or 7B boulder problem. And this is definitely not my style. Like the pass of is usually it's a lot of like big features and then maybe in between almost nothing and then you're kind of cranking on small cranes and then you get to a good ledge and then you do it again and rinse and repeat for me it really doesn't matter that much you just climb a, a little bit less than than you usually would and I think we really got a good taste of, of, of everything the island has. Yes. Oh. Your, your guys' best guess of how long we have. I mean, until well, this could it's okay, yeah. this good? could last a good hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> it lasts a good four or like, five minutes. But like we have, might have 15 minutes, we might have. The I was going to say we have at least 20 minutes, <laughs> yeah. probably more. We have no <laughs> clue no whatsoever. Clue. <laughs> There's this place called Fatla Stakanov, if I pronounce it well. <laughs> that place means a lot to me. It's a really, really fun little crank that has now, or before we came, it had five loops. Let's see way too few ascents. 
Maybe, maybe two, three parties a year. It's so heavy! <laughs> it's uh, basalt columns, so uh, it's something like uh, when you look at it, you're like, wow, it's just stunning. We decided to try to open a new route because there are so many that haven't been done there. I was super keen to go on this wall because as a photographer, I've been dreaming for years to see this kind of walls and the uh, cherry on the cake was to open a new line in it. And it's pretty wild. There's a lot of nothing behind you, like if you're on it. The plan was always to find some track climbing, preferably something new. I'd spotted it before, but I just wasn't sure if it would be worth it. Three um, like longer pitches, and all three of them are very different. The first one, which is a very clean crack from hands to fingers. Then there is a very large, like white crack, an off-width crack. And then the third part is basically uh, like a dihedral with a crack in the back with the worst rock on the route. I mean, we knew that the top parts had uh, a lot of choss. So this route kind of consists of three different parts and we were three climbers, so it fit really well. So Siggy knew the place and Swana wanted to, to like, discover trad climbing. We're there underneath the crack. We didn't know how hard the first pitch would be. It looked sketchy and I saw how nervous she was. Usually like, she kind of starts complaining a little bit. Eventually she just got quiet and that's really the zone where you don't want her to be. Yeah, I'm scared shitless. <laughs> And the look on her face just kind of told me, like, I, I kind of don't want to do this. The crack was small, so it was okay for my hands and fingers, but I don't really know how to do this, so I was kind of um, improvising. The first pitch, that was probably the most difficult move. She spent maybe 15 minutes figuring out Bida, <laughs> spending so much time. It was a very hard pitch, very scary with small gear. She, like I said, she didn't have basically any experience placing camps. I got a little scared as a belayer, like I hope things will go right because you don't know what's coming. I had no clue of where I was going and I had no clue what of uh, which techniques I will have to use. There's nothing! It was really, really amazing, super nice moment because she doesn't have that much experience in trout climbing and she went first in the pitch to open the multi pitch and it was really amazing to see her done this. It was really impressed when coming to those crimps myself. That was that's not a, that's not the whole. She complained the whole time, but didn't stop her. <laughs> like Svana climbs really well, so she, she climbs really, like really hard. But obviously, she's quite new to trad, so it's always super interesting to see someone like like a high level being new to something. She turns around the corner after this uh, after this boulder crux. There's a bird. I see it. Hello. And they puke on you. <laughs> <laughs> She was so happy, and then she got puked on by a bird. So. <laughs> <laughs> I stink so much! I, 
I can't remember that I've laughed so hard. Uh, it's a high for me. Like, I, wasn't, I don't smell a fish. <laughs> then eventually we get up. I need to go for the second pitch. And off with crack that Siggy got all psyched about. So we send him up there and he, uh, he fought like a Viking. The off with was basically as they usually are, but on the left side there was this nice finger crackers one. And because we didn't have a lot of gear, that was actually really welcome, because then I could kind of climb the off with, but still put gear in the finger crack. I'm not really that good at off with climbing. Oh, oh the knee, oh god. <laughs> when Siggy did this uh, off with climb and, and he started to scream like hell and we were all like, all like monkey calling <laughs> <laughs> It was so nice to see also Siggy turning white like this because as Icelandic people are like kind of, you know, like like this a bit <laughs> and so he was like freeing himself with the climbing it was also really really nice to see him like this I was pretty much done after that. <laughs> the second pitch was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life. Wow. I really don't know what to do. Yeah, I was whining a lot. I was really grumpy. This is so not nice. And, and scared at the same time. And I was trying to put everything I could in the crack, but I was just like doing this and this. Be one with the crack. Let it consume you. My God, <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> My God, this is the, if you have the better, it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> I did it in such a hard way. York went for the last pitch and that's a beautiful pitch. I just remember looking down and you just have the whole south coast below you. Wow. Wow, really nice. Balancy climbing on the blocky choss. So, three really good, really good pitches. Oh wow, my god. This was horrible. You take one, it goes like this, you go, oh, okay. Wow. Wow, first one's always a struggle, huh? <laughs> first and last one. <laughs> <laughs> no, first I'm, I'm pumped, out, pumped out of my mind. Endurance in Joss. That's... Well, adventure is anything with unknown outcomes. And I think this definitely was that. Like, we didn't really know like, what we were letting ourselves in for. These moments, like being up there, Swana being puked on by a bird and, and Siggy, he r really realized a dream for himself. And, and it's those moments, it was pissing rain. Everybody was, was kind of on their limit. It's really those moments that I, I value the most. Even though I kept whining. I don't like this. In the end, when I arrived at the top, I was just really proud of myself. <laughs> I was super proud of her. It's always nice to see, to see climber going through this process and be with them and following them in this kind of adventure. And this is what makes, I think, good story and good images. Yeah, yeah. love it. The reason why I wanted to come here, because I knew days like that will happen. Like it's, uh, that's, that's what I mean by adventure. to set some boulders for the comb team. So we've been setting uh, like around 10 boulder programs and now we're gonna try, uh, try it with the kids. Uh, we are here in uh, Reykjavik uh, Climbing Club. 
they managed to uh, help us put up some boulders and make some comfy modern boulders for the kids. We had a really good time actually. Like we, every, every one of us epic a little bit and it was, there was some spice. It's part of the trip actually. Like the fun part was that no, none of us really knew each other that well and in the end it vibed so well. I really enjoyed the adventure aspect, like going somewhere new, meeting new people, forming like a team that's like in pursuit of the same goal. And it's always nice when Iceland gets a little bit of a spotlight, a tiny spotlight. It was really intense and even though I didn't send anything that was really hard, I don't really care. It was more about the journey we had and uh, the adventures we lived together and yeah, it was really nice. What's always interesting or important for a trip is you get somewhere in a new place and you don't know how it's going to be and then sometimes it exceeds your, your expectation. I think the main goal for this trip was to explore it a little bit and develop. It's so painful. Oh my God. What are you doing? It's so painful. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, it's torture. So for one day we went to uh, to a place called Vestrahorn. I, I really couldn't believe it. The endless amount of like steep granite walls. It's basically untouched. Just this wall opens up. And as we see this wall, there is just this line and it goes straight through this sheer wall. Unfortunately, we didn't have that much time, so now we have the idea and we know where it could be done. Maybe for a future trip, we could come back and do this with a bit more time. You kind of hope for some inspiration to come back. And I think we all had that feeling that, like, I will definitely try to come back. <laughs>